Just the headline here is that Kavanaugh's accuser has also been asked to testify before the Judiciary Committee next Monday. The sun, a sudden turn of events will, at the very least, delay the vote on Judge Brett, Brett Kavanaugh's Supreme Court nomination, but it could also impact the outcome of the confirmation vote. Here's what President Trump had to say about the Kavanaugh nomination today. Judge Kavanaugh is one of the finest people that I've ever known. Uh, he's an outstanding intellect, an outstanding judge, respected by everybody. We want to go through a process. We want to make sure everything is perfect, everything is just right. Uh, I wish the Democrats could have done this a lot sooner. 51-year-old Christine Blasey Ford, a clinical psychology professor at Stanford University and at Palo Alto University, told the Washington Post that when she was 15 and Kavanaugh was 17, he pinned her to a bed on her back and put his hand over her mouth. He was trying to attack me and remove my clothing. I thought he might inadvertently kill me. He was ignoring the fact that she was attempting to scream and having a difficult time breathing. And uh, she believes that but for his inebriation and his inability to take her clothes off, he would have raped her. I believe her. Many, many, many Americans believe her. Ford first shared the allegations with her California congresswoman, Anna Eshoo, from Palo Alto in July. But she wanted to remain anonymous. She was worried about her family. She has young children, uh, her husband. Are the allegations true? Kavanaugh denied the allegations in a new statement saying this is a completely false allegation. I have never done anything like what the accuser describes to her or to anyone. I am willing to talk to the Senate Judiciary Committee in any way the committee deems appropriate to refute this false accusation from 36 years ago and defend my integrity. The president may have been following the advice of presidential counselor Kellyanne Conway, who told reporters earlier in the day Ford's allegations should be heard. She should not be ignored. She should testify under oath and she should do it on Capitol Hill. Great. I want him to go in at the absolute highest level. And I think to do that, you have to go through this. If it takes a little delay, it'll take a little delay. And now both Professor Ford and Judge Kavanaugh have both been invited to testify next Monday by the Senate Judiciary Committee. It comes at a time when all eyes are on Republican swing votes, which could potentially derail the confirmation. I don't know whether there is any there there, but it's my job, along with 99 other members of the Senate, to determine if there is. Obviously, if Judge Kavanaugh has lied about what happened, that would be disqualifying. Ford's lawyer, Deborah Katz, told CBS News her client wants to testify, but she's concerned about whether the process will be fair. Partisans are already lining up. Uh, taking a position that they will grill her. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell accuses the Democrats of keeping the accusations a secret until the last minute. At the 11th hour, with committee votes on schedule, after Democrats have spent weeks and weeks searching for any possible reason that the nomination should be delayed, now, now they choose to introduce this allegation. Now, although having won a victory today and getting a committee hearing for Ford, congressional Democrats are now pushing for an FBI investigation of the allegations against Kavanaugh. They charge that voting on his confirmation without getting an objective law enforcement report is not acceptable for a Supreme Court nominee. Republicans' charge is just another Democrat stalling tactic.